Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, control cables. Now, yes, I could fit Suzuki B-King cables. I need them about 50 mil longer. The B-King is a Hayabusa engine with handlebars. So therefore it's logical that they would fit because simply buy them, fit them on. Same goes for several other Suzukis, even the Bandit and the GSX-14. They're all the same controls each end, so they should pop straight on. And also I could go to many of the companies out there that just make them for me. Thank you for those suggestions. But look, I've got a kit making myself. And that's fun, isn't it? So let's have a go, see how we get on.
Right, there we are, that's it. Fast idle cable or choke cable, call it what you like. That's the one that doesn't really need to be that fantastic. It doesn't have any real weight put on it. It just pulls that little fast idle lever on and I made a really nice job of it. It's 120 mil longer and it looks absolute factory. It works perfectly. I'm really, really happy with the result. Those ends solder in beautifully, really nice job. And on the throttle cables, I've got to do an even nicer job because there's a lot more pressure goes on those. The throttle bodies if you like have got quite an intense spring pulling them back shut so i've got to make sure that throttle cable's got lots of strength in that end that i solder on so i've got to do a good job and having practiced on that it's not that difficult it's just a case taking your time get everything absolutely clean so there we are one lot of practice four hours up so far long way to go let's do the throttle cables see how we get on wish me luck
Right, there we are, eight hours in the garage, and I made three bespoke control cables. And they work, perfect. Now, my soldering isn't up to a professional standard, but it only needs to be strong. It's not an exhibition, I'm not looking for points. Just cables that work, and they do. I'm very happy indeed. I ended up putting 120 mil in the choke or fast idle side, and on the throttles, only 50 mil extra. And I managed to route them exactly in the factory clip, so the cables are routed exactly as they are as standard, and that's definitely the best way to do it. I'm very happy with that. Now, in the next one, I've got to lose all the wiring, all the original wiring harness that goes around the epic, massive fairing that's here. All of that's hanging down the front at the moment, like Nana's knickers. I've got to get it all tidied up and stowed under the tank neatly, so it's nice and safe, and it doesn't bear against anything or kink or stretch or anything like that so that's a little bit of a task and I'll do that next time then after that I'll maybe stick some lights on it and decide whether I want clocks on it or not or lights or not we shall see thanks for watching I'll see you next time